$5,000 boats. It's a hard thing to try to find brand new boats for under $5,000, especially when you're trying to look for maybe a boat with an engine and a trailer. Obviously, if you do have a budget limitation of $5,000, you can stretch that dollar a lot more by shopping for used items. I have a video of what I put together for under $1,000, and that video is linked at the end of this video. But let's see what we can buy new right now with a $5,000 budget. First of all, let me tell you, you definitely have to set your expectations low. I, I mean, low. Really low. To help you understand what we can buy new under $5,000, let, let me just show you something else real quick. Here is a decently equipped brand new boat. A 16 foot boat with a 50 horsepower outboard, a trailer, four seats, it's got wiring, a bilge pump, steering console, and on and on. Everything you need to hit the water. I mean, it's a pretty sweet little boat. And it's $17,000. But this video is about $5,000 boats. Believe it or not, there is a $5,000 boat underneath of all of this. If you take this nice Bass Tracker Classic XL that's $17,000 and you Take away the outboard motor right there. Take away the trailer. Get rid of that trolling motor. Get rid of that steering console. And all four of those seats. What you're left with is that. That's essentially a $5,000 hull. That is Tracker's Grizzly 1648 John Boat. Now I'm not sure of exact dimensions and specifications, but that looks very similar to me of the hull used in this Bass Tracker Classic XL. That Grizzly 1648 John boat, the no haggle, no hassle national price from Cabela's and Bass Pro Shop is $49.95 US dollars. And as you can see here, for me to buy this, there's a $175 freight charge so my price with prep and freight is $5,170. We've already broken the budget and that's just for the boat. So we may need to go with boats smaller than 16 feet. And another thing we need to do is we need to keep our outboard motor horsepower expectations within reason. From onlineoutboards.com, the smallest horsepower outboard four-stroke engine is this Tohatsu MFS 2.5 CS outboard motor. It costs $978. We need to buy a boat that allows us $978 minimum if we want to put an outboard motor on there. Obviously you could buy a used outboard motor just like anything else, but for this exercise we're looking just at new items. Another way you could go is what if you just started out with a trolling motor? If you boat on calmer waters where there's not a lot of currents, you could potentially get away with something like this Minn Kota Endura $99 trolling motor. Now, you need to pair that up with a battery or two, but a $99 battery-powered trolling motor could get you on the water till you could save up for an outboard motor. This is the Polycraft 300 Tuffy Polyethylene Plastic Boat. This is their smallest boat. It is a 10 foot boat, which is three meters. It does have some interesting attributes. First of all, it comes in under our $5,000 budget. You can get it in nine different colors. Even though it weighs 238 pounds, I'm not sure with the, the grab handles and stuff that it has on there, it might be kind of easy to put something like this in the back of your pickup truck, right? Or on the top of your car or something like that. So you wouldn't need to buy a trailer. If we paired it with the cheapest outboard that we could find, that Tohatsu 2.5 for $979 essentially, that puts us up to $4,474. That could be an option. That gets us under $5,000 because that gives you $500 essentially for your taxes, registration, and to buy some safety gear. If you're liking this video, please give it a like down below. Thank you very much. G3 Boats. They have this guide 
V12. It's a 12 foot long V hold aluminum boat. If you team that up on their website with their smallest outboard option, which is this Yamaha eight horsepower, I presume. But that comes in over our $5,000 budget, $560 over. So let's get creative. Let's step up to the 14 foot version of that boat, which is only $300 more. And if we don't add any options, and instead of the cheapest, smallest Yamaha they offer, we pair it with a five horsepower Tohatsu from Online Outboards. That is $1,472, and it comes with a external 3.1 gallon fuel tank and fuel line included. With that motor and the 14 foot version of that boat, we're under $4,500 that could kind of fit in the back of a pickup truck. Obviously it's gonna stick out quite a bit, so you'll wanna have a flag on the back, but you could do that without a trailer for under $5,000, giving you also some money for your taxes and registration fees and, and other expenses. Instead of going with that 14 foot G3 with a five horsepower, what if you went with a 12 foot boat with a slightly bigger outboard on it? So Lowe has this 12 foot utility boat that is slightly cheaper than the G3 12 foot boat. And if you took this 12 foot boat and you got a bigger engine, you could go with this eight horsepower Tohatsu that uh, is $2,008, which leaves you 300 and some odd dollars to be able to, you know, pay for your registration and tags and taxes or whatever. And 12 foot boat fits in a, back of a truck a little bit better than a 14 foot boat. If you want that whole package, here's really what a complete $5,000 package looks like. You take that Lowe's 12 foot V-hole boat, you pair it up to the Tohatsu 2.5 for 9.79. So you go back to that smallest motor that is not some Amazon special. You probably can find some engines on Amazon that are cheaper than that, but if you've seen any of the videos about some of those motors, some of those things are pretty awful outboards. This is a name brand, decent quality, warranted outboard motor. A 12 foot trailer, you probably can buy one of those locally from a manufacturer or distributor for about $1,000. You could possibly put that together and stay under $5,000 total. A lot of it comes down to what state you're in, what you're required to register and title, and what your taxes are. For example, I know some states don't have a sales tax. So, you know, if you were to buy all this in Delaware and you're just boating on a pond and you don't need to register your trailer because it's close by, you're making it under $5,000 pretty easily. Some other states where the taxes and registration fees are much higher and you might go a little over that 5,000. So believe me when I say I have been looking at a lot of websites and digging around to try to find some better deals out there. And maybe there are, and if you see some other brands that have some better prices for brand new products that are equivalent, please put that down in the comments below. To me, it seems like if you wanna buy a, a brand new boat and motor and stay under $5,000, you're looking at a 12 to 14 foot boat max. So that brings me back to something I mentioned earlier, which is considering some used options. It's, it's interesting because sometimes when you look at like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist, people are selling a complete setup similar to this setup here for $2,500. It might seem expensive when you're looking at this little old boat like that, but when you consider what all of this would cost new, it's much more than $5,000. It's got an eight horsepower, a couple of seats, Minn Kota Endura trolling motor on there. There's some PFDs, there's a trailer. Looks like a welded, uh, probably about a 12 foot John boat. If they're selling that for $2,500, that's a bargain compared to everything else. Matter of fact, if you bought that setup, but you're really concerned about that old outboard, you could sell that eight horsepower outboard before you even use it and buy yourself another new outboard and still be under $5,000. Another way you could stay under $5,000 budget is maybe you just buy one of the components used. Maybe you can find a used trailer or the boat hull. Saving yourself $1,000 there gives you more budget to be able to put towards some of the other aspects of it. Another way to tackle this is to build up over time. 
That's actually how I've been building up my little boat. If you want to see how I put together that little boat for $1,000, that video is right here. Take a look at it.